as Fairla Dickinson cut Maryland's early eight-point lead to one midway through the first half Thursday amid a slew of sloppy plays and errant shots, Terps coach Mark Turgeon had seen enough and called timeout. This was not going to be Catholic revisited. Nor would FDU become Wofford, which upset North Carolina in Chapel Hill on Wednesday night. Turgeon didn't have to say much to his team. He simply put in the three starters who were on the bench during FDU's run of five straight points, and they sent Maryland on a 24-point run over the next eight-plus minutes. It led to a 75-50 victory at Sfinity Center for the Terps, who were playing their first game in nine days because of final exams and were without starters Michael Sikowski, ankle, Justin Jackson, shoulder, and Dion Wiley, illness. A season-high six trips scored in double figures. Sophomore guard Kevin Herter led Maryland, 11-3, with his first double-double of the season and the second of his career, finishing with 12 points, a career-high 15 rebounds, the most by a Terp since Charles Mitchell had that number in 2014, eight assists and three blocks. Asked about the big run in the first half which nearly turned out to be the margin of victory Turgeon said, I think we had 11 straight defensive stops in there during that stretch, and then we made shots. We executed, but we made shots. We were good against a zone, we were good in man, we were good in everything. Obviously that was the difference in the game. From then on, we didn't concentrate as well. Leading 46-23 at halftime, the trips were a bit sluggish in the second half, attributable to playing down to the competition as well as perhaps not getting a second wind after the long break. A small crowd, announced at 12,133 but a lot smaller, didn't help. After shooting 15 for 21 in the first half, including 6 for 8 on three-pointers, Maryland shot just 9 for 29 after halftime, and missed 12 of its 13 three-pointers. FDU struggled shooting throughout, finishing 17 for 71 overall and 6 for 20 on three-pointers. I was really proud of our guys at halftime, I thought we lost a little interest in the second half, Turgeon said. We set a goal to hold them to 50 or less and we did it. Sophomore guard Anthony Cowan Jr. and freshman guard Daryl Morsel, Mount St. Joseph, each scored a team-high 13 points. Redshirt junior forward Yvonne Bender and senior wing Jared Nickens also scored 12. Freshman center Bruno Fernando added 11 points and 8 rebounds. The silver lining to missing three starters is that you're seeing Yvonne Bender get better, you're seeing Jared Nickens get better, Turgeon said. It's great to see Bruno get extended minutes tonight. Daryl Morsel's getting better as he's getting time and, of course, Kevin Herter was really good. Nine days after its lackluster 17-point win over Division III Catholic, the Maryland men's basketball team returns to the court at Sfinity Center on Thursday to play Fairla Dickinson. The trips won't look past the Knights as they did their last opponent, but coach Mark Turgeon wants his young. Nine days after its lackluster 17-point win over Division III Catholic, the Maryland men's basketball team returns to the court at Sfinity Center on Thursday to play Fairla Dickinson.